Hello, insiders. Very quick news flash this week. First of all, reminder timestamps for all topics are linked to in the description below. Also, we're obviously shooting from home, working from home. So the quality of our videos, which <laughs> never were super high quality, will be even worse. So please hang in there with us if you find that the audio, the lighting, the noise from the fan on this laptop are uh, distracting. We're trying our best. First, uh, a new update to YouTube Studio. You can now see post comments inside your studio channel comment section. So if you go to YouTube Studio and then click on comments at the channel level, you'll see comments from your videos, but also comments on your recent posts and you can even reply to them all from Studio. So another example of us bringing everything you need into YouTube Studio and this will never ever come to Classic because as you know, we've pretty much taken everybody off of Classic on the engineering side and about 10% of users uh, already no longer have access, general access to Classic and the rest of uh, creators will be losing that little bottom left hand link uh, very soon. However, I will acknowledge that we have spaced out this migration. So we were gonna go for about all 90% in one big launch. Actually, it was supposed to be this week, but because of the COVID-19 crisis, we elected to kind of um, do it a little bit more gradually. So it will now happen in several waves over the next uh, few weeks, but it is definitely coming. Next, speaking of posts, we wanted to make it easier for you to collaborate with other creators and amplify each other's content. So you can now share other creators' uh, community posts with your own audience. Sharing posts is super easy. You just tap on the share icon on the post, type some text info for your audience, select share post, and you're good to go. Your reshare will appear on your channel's community tab and may appear in your audience's home or subs feeds. Next, there's been some confusion about the extended workforce policy that we launched two weeks ago. So to help explain the policy and the impact on creators like you, Todd talked to the team and we released a deep dive on this channel last Friday. It's outside of our normal posting schedule, so if you haven't checked it out, link below. Next, to support families while students are out of school during the COVID-19 crisis, we are launching the Learn at Home microsite. Initially, it's in English with more languages and markets to follow. Uh, this will highlight useful learning resources and content. We are expanding youtube.com slash learning to additional markets and languages more info on that to come so stay tuned and lastly our tr our weekly trivia so last week i asked you how many viewers came to youtube every month how many logged in viewers and the answer was two billion two billion logged in viewers every month the first person to guess correctly was Imagine Studios. So congratulations to Imagine Studios. This week, here is the question. If you know the answer to this question, type it in the comments below. First person who gives a pretty close answer will get a shout out on next week's newsflash. Why is it that if you look at the click-through rate for some of your most popular videos, they actually have the lowest click-through rate. So again, if you look at the click-through rate of your most popular videos, the total click-through rate, that percentage, is often lower than other videos that were not as popular. Why is that? So if you think you know the answer to that, Put it in the comments below and we'll talk about the answer and the first person to guess correctly next week. Keep it real.